um this week is a homecoming activities week, so i will travel from city to city today through monday um meeting and greeting the state and saying hello and thank you for all of your incredible support. but i'd also like to just tell you a little bit about the miss america organization. i see familiar faces in the crowd that will know a lot of what i'm saying, but for those of you who don't know, i think it's very easy to say, oh, miss wisconsin is coming here, miss america is coming here, and not exactly know what the organization is or what it stands for. and i don't often wear my crown. um i carry it with me. but uh, generally I, i like to wear a pin because uh, sometimes wearing the crown can be distracting and people can be so glamorized by what is on my head that they're missing what is coming out of my mouth. and uh, the crown is actually something that is m much more than something that is beautiful and shiny. it actually represents what the miss america organization stands for. every crown across the local, state, and national level is the same in that it has four points on it. and it truly are, is the four pillars that miss america is made upon. first is scholarship. the miss america organization is completely a scholarship organization which makes available more than forty five million dollars each and every year to its young women that compete in this organization across the country. that money is made available at the local, at the state, and at the national level. and what is more incredible is that you don't have to win a pageant to receive scholarship assistance. you can place, you can receive an interview award, you can receive a talent award. so many of the contestants are receiving scholarship. it's not only miss america who receives scholarship assistance. the next is service. miss america is a service organization. my year as miss america is called a year of service. i have friends here from arizona and california who represent their states and this is a year of service for them. likewise for miss wisconsin, for miss milwaukee, for miss kenosha, whoever the case may be. we are young women who are dedicated to causes and working in our communities and making a difference. we are interested in being role models when in the media today we so often don't see that. Uh, so we have service scholarship style and many people think about style and they say oh how i dress or what i look like. and for me that's more so an inner sense of style. how i want to come across, how i want to present, how i want to be portrayed in the media or in the spotlight. and then lastly is success. Uh, this organization is truly a launching pad for success for the future, for careers, for continuing education. Um, and i like to just educate as many people as I can as possible on what the Miss America organization stands for because I think it's very easy to confuse it with other pageant systems and to see it as just a woman who is a pretty face wearing a pretty crown. and if you get to talk to myself, to any of the contestants, you see that this is an organization <clears throat> that encourages young women to further their education, that is an empowerment organization where women are speaking their mind for causes that they are passionate about in their communities, who are dedicated to a lifestyle of physical fitness and health that happens more than just on that Saturday night that you see in the pageants, and more importantly that we are dedicated to being role models and providing community service in our cities, states, and our country. So thank you all so much for being here. I hope I may have enlightened you on the Miss America organization if you weren't familiar with it otherwise. And um, I think we're ready for it.